Hey, I'm Dan with the Jack Cannon E Automotive Group. And I'm Chad, and today we're at Audi Jacks, and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2014 Audi Q7 with technology package. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, here it is, the Q7 with technology package. Let's take a look at this vehicle. Wow, what a beautiful car. Daytona gray. See all the beautiful metallics in the paint? The Q7 has a size that you may be looking for. It's a full-size SUV provided by Audi. Dan, what do you think of the front of the vehicle? Well, it's got Audi's signature look to it. It looks great. You know, it's a lot taller than their typical sedans, but for an SUV, that's about as mean looking as you're gonna get. And the headlights, look how aggressive they are. Also, Audi's signature headlight setup with the LED lighting gives it a nice, bright, and you can just see it coming down the road. It looks really good. You know it's an Audi. And that front grille, man, looking good. Now, Dan, what type of engine do we have under the Q7's hood? Well, the Q7, this one right here comes with a 3-liter, 333 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and we take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. And while Dan's doing that, I'm going to quickly here show you the fuel economy on this car. So we're talking about 22 on the highway, 16 in the city for average combined of 18 miles per gallon. So not too bad for a vehicle this size. Again, remember it is Quattro all-wheel drive. So you're gonna have that. You're gonna be able to get out on the road in different weather climates and things like that and just have a good time driving the car and feel safe at the same time. There she is. TFSI. It says TFSI right here. You want to go ask a salesperson to find out what that means? I think we should. Let's go do it. All right. So we're going to head back into the internet sales department, which is where there's designated salespeople whose sole responsibility is to respond to any information or any requests for information that they get online, whether that's through email or through customers filling out forms. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Beautiful. Now let's find this next rep. Tell us a little bit about the TFSI system in the Audis. Uh, TFSI is turbo fuel stratified injection. It's where uh, the fuel injection uh, or pressure injected straight into the combustion chamber uh, and it results in a greater fuel economy, about 15% more as far as the fuel economy is concerned. Alright, thanks for your time. Always having a good time at Audi Jacks, as you can see. All right, so now that we know a little bit more about the TFSI system, let's go ahead and close the hood and take a look at this beautiful vehicle. Let's have a look at the sides of this car. Wow. So we're talking about 20-inch wheels on the Q7 with complemented with Pirelli tires. Five stars, you can't go wrong with that. That's definitely for sure. Also, you'll notice right here the supercharged badge. Extra power, that's what you need. All Audis, performance, that's exactly right. Look at the back. Absolutely gorgeous vehicle, as you're noticing right now in this video. Dan, tell us a little bit about the rear of the Q7. Well, it's got a power lift gate, as you can see. Uh, LED tail lights in the back, just like at the front, once again. Increased visibility also increases safety. That's right, and I love that power tailgate feature. Moms all over the country love it. When they're coming out the grocery store with the kids, Hit the button on the remote, open it up, throw all your stuff in the back. It's just beautiful. Life just got simpler for you. Let's take a look in the back. On this one, third row seats right here in the rear. I'm gonna go ahead and move around and open those up for us. Now that's one thing that separates the Q5 from the Q7 is that the fact that the Q7 is equipped with the third row seat. That's right. And Dan has the keys here. Go ahead and unlock it for us. Another Another interesting thing about this car is that the second row of seats is heated. Not typical at all. The third row is equipped with air conditioning vents. Now as you can see, if you want to go ahead and drop down, you just pull right here. Just like that, look how simple. Also, we're talking about steel plating in the back of the Q7, so nice and strong right there for you as well. And then your third row seats right here. Pull that, open up, push that forward. Okay, it's really simple to do, as you can see right there, and it gives you a lot of room, and I love the panoramic glass sunroof, one in the rear, second and first row right there for you. So tons of really nice features. Black interior, 
with a light wood grain trim. Yeah, the seats look good, Napa leather, ebony. Also power seats, power lumbar support right there for you on driver passenger side. Let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit for a minute and take a look around. Looks like I've got the key. You do have the key. So Dan cranks her up for us, that simple. Look, look at the screen. Dan, zoom in on that for just a moment on there. What does that look like to you? That's Google Maps. That's Google Maps. And tell us a little bit how that works on this vehicle. Well, the vehicle is equipped with a SIM card that allows it to get information off of a cellular network, which provides all the imagery from Google, and of course lets you switch between that and the standard map view. But if you really want to zoom in and try to find that location, it really helps to switch over to satellite and see exactly what the satellites are seeing. So another nice feature, uh, another thing I like about this car is you put it in reverse right here, put your foot on the brake, drop it in reverse, and check out that backup camera right there. Now take a look at the screen here with these guidelines. This is neat. When you turn the steering wheel, as you can see on my camera here, turn the steering wheel. Dan, go ahead and put it on there for me real quick. Look how that's spinning right on around right there, as you can see. And it's in high def. You can see that other car back there, that little Q5 just rolling right through. Also has sensors on the front and on the back, and that'll light up and beep to indicate that you're getting a little too close to something. It also does have a camera in the front. All you have to do is take this, this knob right here. This is the main knob for working your way through the, through the menus. Twist that right there, and then on top is a button to select. And right there you can see front. I mean, this is an SUV. It's a slightly taller vehicle, and it's a little easier to run over something because you're sitting up higher, and if it's, if it's a low object, you may not see it especially help with you know one foot or two foot tall poles and so so once you back out of your spot you can switch to the front camera and then that'll get you safely out of the parking lot without running over any toys or or anything that would damage the vehicle now another feature that I like about the car is the stereo system and what you can do with it multimedia right here in the car and uh, you open this you hit this button right here open opens that you got one SD card slot a SIM card slot Dan zoom in on that force wait please and an SD2 slot. So you got three different slots here to be able to hook up with and add and transfer more music into the car. So another nice tech feature and you do have iPod and smartphone device hookups with auxiliary and USB as well. So a and lot of nice technology. And satellite radio. Yeah, satellite radio, Sirius. The sound system is a Bose sound system. That's right. Can't go wrong with Bose. If you want a sound system that not only sounds good but it's loud, can't beat a Bose. I'm liking it, a lot of room on the interior. Again, me and Dan are about six foot tall. And look at all the headroom right up top here. Plenty of space there for me. And then plenty of leg room as well. So if you got someone that's really tall, there's just a good amount of space in here for that particular person. And uh, man, loving the sunroofs as you can see right up there. Just a really nice view of the city while you're riding. So Jacksonville skies, here we come. Now Chad, you took this car out for a Q7 out for two days, right? I did. What'd you think of it? I mean, I'm you actually you actually drove it and got to spend a little time with the car. Drove it across Jacksonville. I think we were setting up for a charity event. What What is your opinion of it? Because you did spend a little bit of time driving it. I did. You know, the nice thing about it is it had, I like the, the room that you get in the vehicle. You know, I mean, again, fold the back seats down, fold the second row down. We can get all our camera equipment in the car. It's got a ton of space. Also, you know, putting my family in, taking them to the Jacksonville Zoo and that type of thing. It's real, it just gives you that nice, confident feel while driving the car that your family is going to be secure and safe in this vehicle. It's solid. And that's what I like about Audi. Just the engineering and just everything about it is just, man, it's very emotional to an extent owning one of these types of vehicles. And you didn't really realize that until you test drove it, correct? No, I really didn't. Yeah. You got to take them and come out, test drive the car to really get a feel for what you're what you're driving. I mean, this is the way to do it. Come on down to Audi Jacks. I hope you enjoyed this video today with us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We only covered a little bit of the information that has to do with this car, but if you go to our website, check the description. We'll have a link right there for you. That'll have everything on it that you'll need. Thank you again. We'll see you soon.